Good morning, happy Friday. Welcome to probably my last vlog for a while because next week my, my stressful, my stressful schedule with uni and work and training and social media and life and everything goes back. So hate that for me, love that for me. Anyway, happy Friday, time to work. I'm feeling yuck. <laughs> I'm just a little bit fried because I literally got three hours of sleep last night purely because I couldn't switch my brain off. I just had a night very like tossing and turning. Mm. I know it's all going to be fine, but uni's starting next week and I have such a huge uni load and because I'm working on top of it and you go... Oh. I just had to do too much and I've tried to like reduce work how many hours I'm doing and uni but the subjects I'm doing but I picked all of these like biochemistry molecular biology and chemistry units to leave open the option of doing masters in dietetics because I think I might maybe want to do that one day but now I'm like not really sure and I'm like <laughs> I'm so not going to do it, but I'm going to put in all this work. But anyway, whatever. So I thought I would do a weekend, a little bit of a weekend vlog because I'm probably not going to be able to vlog super often starting from Monday when uni goes back. This is so random, but I saw this video. Apparently, it's this trend. Um, I only ever saw one video of it though, but then I looked it up, and apparently, it's a trend: grated hard-boiled egg on toast. So I'm gonna be trying that. Um, we're not off to a great start with the egg. She wasn't happy being boiled. That's cool. And then I just have a bit of sourdough with avo, and I'm just gonna grate on top a boiled egg. Holy shit! This egg sucks. You know when there's like water in the egg? Like surely that's not uncooked egg white. This egg actually sucks. This is the egg. Anyway, let's hope that what's alive of it. I'm not really alive. That's really weird, but great. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to clean the grater after. Anyone who doesn't like egg, like this would be like disgusting. I used to hate eggs, so I can just imagine. All right, let's give her a crack. Mm. Yum. It doesn't really taste any different to me grating the egg than just having a boiled egg on avo on sourdough so yeah that's my my review of this so i'm gonna eat this and do some of the some uni work because there's like chemistry prerequisites i've literally spent the last hour since i got back trying to plan my whole life out <laughs> and then training time I'm so excited. I'm about to leave, but I'm just going to get changed into my training gear and a Muscle Nation package came. If you guys saw my recent solo date vlog, I got a message from Muscle Nation, like a DM saying, would I be interested in being a sponsored athlete? Like, I literally manifested it because it happened the day after I bought more Muscle Nation activewear. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got a pair of the booty shorts to match the crop top I have because I have the bike shorts in this and I like booty shorts way better. Um, and I got a set. This set, oh my gosh, I don't know which one to wear. And oh, I don't know, I don't know. I have my gym session with my strength coach and then I'm going from there to the track for my easy run. If I do have a Muscle Nation discount code, code is on the screen here. Oh, I'm so excited. Use my code, buy yourself some of the best active wear. Fuck, I don't know which one to wear. When 
I want to play whatever music I want. We went with this one. Okay, welcome to a really quick voiceover. So I did my easy run after. It felt really, really bad. So the week before I did like 35 minutes and got like six and a half K and this week I only made 20 or 20, 20 minutes I think. It was really hot that day as well and I was just super fried. So it was really slow. I only went for 20 minutes or so and got like 5K I think. So it is meant to be an easy run and the issue was even though it was slow, my heart rate was way too high. So that was my heart rate. It got in the 170s at max. Whereas the week before I did 6.5K and my heart rate was like 130, which is like the aim of this workout. As you can see there, it was oh, 145 average and the aim is to be in the one high 130s or 140s. So then I filled up my training diary and I did a couple of circuits and that was it, basically. Woo, training done. I had a terrible run. So it was just like my easy long run that I meant to hit my heart rate at 135 to 145. And last Friday, it was really chill. Like I felt good. I went for 35 minutes and did like six and a half K. Heart rate was low, it was vibing. Today, I felt absolutely crap like i was dying my heart rate was super high it was so hot so windy my fellow runners would know how much running into a headwind makes it so much harder um yeah and i died so i only went for 25 minutes i just went 5k um yeah was not solid last week was way better but anyways um i'm heading home now now it's friday I just did a bunch of circuits at the end um, and honestly just I've been here for hours but just like chilling with the, the squad um, I've li literally been at the truck for two hours but I really didn't do much but that's cool and everybody was obsessed with the, the set um, so I was like oh I wish I had the discount code already hopefully I'm not jinxing myself like I still have to talk to them about it I also like my water bottles, Muscle Nation. Like, I'm obsessed with this water bottle. It's my favorite thing ever. It's a liter. So I know, like, if I have four of these a day, that I'm at four liters. Well, probably more because I also have, like, tea and stuff in the day. Okay, let's go home. See you tomorrow.
happy Saturday. So I spent the morning doing a whole bunch of productive things on my to-do list. So I cleaned out my car. It was such a mess. And then I spent a lot of time planning out my life and organizing the next few weeks. So this was the last weekend before uni started back. So the next week after this, as in like two days later, everything went so hectic and I have uni five days a week, work most days, training, and I was just trying to organize how I'm going to manage all of that. So I spent the morning just doing some uni work. Wow, the lighting is dark. Um, and just stuff around the house. I filmed a YouTube video. And now I'm off to meet Kiara and train at my work. Did you bring a post-workout protein? No. Because I brought you some in case you didn't. Oh. I brought us both a protein bar. Do you want one? Yes, please. What is it? It's a macromac. Um, it's meant to be like... It's vegan. It's like a peanut butter, strawberry, jam, donut flavour. No. That's what it's meant to be. <laughs> is this for like an ad? Like, so I do good? Is that what you said? Wait, what? Oh, no. I, I, I didn't like... thought you were like, oh, did you bring a protein snack? It's macromac. And I was like, oh, oh my god, no. <laughs> I thought we were like acting. <laughs> I love that you're saying this because I'm getting this in it now. No, I'm literally just like sample pack again. All of them, yeah. Which one is your fave? <laughs> Fuck! I wish we were driving together so we can chat in the car. I know. Honestly, we can like call if you want. Yeah, do you want it actually? <laughs> yeah, we can. That's so cute. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I think I might have dropped a hair tie. Is that oh. what you said? Yeah. Wait, is I it brown? Oh wait, no, I don't. It's. it's Answer me. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> For petrol. Honestly, I should probably just stop behind you because mine's on like an eighth of a tank. Go right, go right, go right, the other right. <laughs> I always drive with this, it just like sometimes slides off. <laughs> yeah, well this driver. street's actually really dirty. Really so <laughs> We're on our way to get dinner and Kiara's taking me out to get ramen in my life, so not sure how I feel about it. I've been missing out. <laughs> All your viewers are gonna be like, you haven't had ramen? Like, what? I didn't, it's not like a thing though. It is a thing, everyone eats ramen. I, <laughs> do you know what? I feel like, and you're gonna like be like, Ugh. But all of my like Shire friends, I feel like I've never had Oh, of course, well, yeah. not in the Shire. But um, this is like my second like, I guess, fee food in the week. So go me, I Go guess. Amy. <laughs> How 
is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kiara's just filling up the petrol tank and this lighting's so bad, but I thought I would just finish today by um, honest, honest little review of ramen, honest chat. I'm sorry, this lighting's actually stressing me out, it's so bad. Sorry, I'm just filling, filling the vlog in. Um, I got an ice cream. Oh, I love that for you. <laughs> I, yeah, there was part of like a little voice in my head that was panicking a little bit and thinking like this is really creamy and felt bad for feeling really full. But then I just reminded myself like how healing it is. Yeah, like fixing the neural connections in my brain, helping me get a period. Yeah, you can drive and <laughs> Taste wise, it was different. I loved the tofu. Oh, this lighting's better. I love the tofu, but the actual ramen, um, I probably wouldn't go for myself. Let me just say though, Rara Ramen has, is renowned to be like the best vegan ramen. And I'm sorry, the best ramen, the best ramen in Sydney. I mean, just- Is it really? It's by me, yes. <laughs> Most people I know, like most people I know, it's their favorite known. ramen. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's famous. But like, oh, I think it, it just, just doesn't eat much Japanese food. Yeah, so. I think it was just like a different taste that I was like not like exactly. Yeah. Used You're not to. used yeah. to the flavors. Thanks for a really nice night, Kia. Love, Love you. you. Get it from. person in the world and packed snacks. Mum, Dad and I and one of their mates are on this beautiful walk in the National Park along the cliffs, through the bush, through the National Park and we've been going super slow, really, really slow. I'm a bit done because we've been going for almost two hours and we still, we're just on the way back now. So I can't wait to have a swim at the end, but yeah, very glad I got up early for this because it's stunning. Um, also, my hammies are a bit cooked from yesterday, a little bit cooked. And I got like no sleep last night. A stunning 8k. Now we go, we're gonna swim, thank gosh. It's very hot. Can you open your eyes under the water? 
Are you ready? Open. is coming in. What? He had it on his nose. Oh. <laughs> Say the tide is going out. Okay. Because look, there's a box where the sand is. Oh, I'm just getting a picture of your bum. <laughs> that was a nice shot of your bum. <laughs> Why, thank you. That's not like Tamana. I know, right? <laughs> Good, fresh, sweet, sweet. Tastes like fish. Really? Um, tastes like the ocean to me. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does got the seawater in there. I definitely would not pay $40 for it. <laughs> yeah. They always, you know, you can use the lemon juice. That will make it better. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want to try some, Dad? It's edible. Did you have some? Yes. What is it like? The ocean. <laughs> no, it's sea urchin. Yeah. Get another one. Uh, oh, I gave that some. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> nice. Um, well, yeah. I have my water. You, where's your water? She knows she's being filmed. You're a model, Rio. She knows she's being filmed. She's catwalking towards the camera. I'm feeling deceased and salty. I spend the pretty much all over editing this vlog. Not this vlog, but my eating chocolate for the first time in six years vlog and then I just chewed out for a little bit now I'm gonna have a shower we're gonna have dinner and then after dinner I'm gonna do a bunch of like preparing for uni semester which starts tomorrow I hate that for me anyway time to like get fresh and clean in the shower yeah we're having one of my fave dins thanks mum y'all's the girls actually I'm gonna go and get a lime off our lime tree. This lime is so juicy. No way. Well, I just cut it and yeah. it was like. No, what? It's got. It's cold in it. That you can plug your car into your house and get one of these gadgets that these guys make that make the electricity flow both ways. and the light is on a focus on me. I've literally just been sitting out here after dinner preparing myself for uni, my lectures that are tomorrow and just the semester which begins tomorrow starting my final final year of uni and then I'll have my degree after this year but uh, I just have to get through another year of balancing everything work, uni, training, social media. Should be right. Um, look, I'm burnt from today. Well, you can't really tell, but I'm feeling it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. If you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a lot there and a lot of reels. So I actually did a reel of today, which I love. I just find them so like fun to edit, and I love like the final outcome. Um, just with like the music and the footage, it just like romanticizes life as cringy as that sounds. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget if you guys want to become a channel member, sign up for that. And if you do want to support this channel or my podcast on my Patreon, I'll link that down below. Um, I do prioritize replying to channel members and Patreon members because I get a lot of DMs with like really in-depth questions um and i can't like respond to everyone so yeah that's all i have to say i'm really tired but thank you for watching and i hope you join me in the next video bye